Today we're going to be setting up a mini PC in my bedroom for gaming and media content consumption. We're going to go through all of it. This is what it looks like. This is what we got. And we're going to set it up on our TV in our bedroom. So here we have the setup that we're going to be using. It's a Rekazer keyboard and mouse combo. They're wireless uh, keyboard and mouse, 2.4 gigahertz. The, um, they take batteries, which is the only downside about it. Two AAA batteries and one AA battery for the mouse. And there is a mini PC that we're going to be using. It's from AIO XPC. This was provided by them for me for this video. So uh, they provided it free of charge to me for the review. And we're going to be setting it up in my bedroom. So here's all the parts, keyboard and the mouse. Like I said, you get an HDMI cable with it. You get a power cable with it as well. As multiple ports on the back of the mini PC. So you can connect it to multiple displays. In the event, you can hook more, more than one monitor. But... In my case, I'm going to be hooking it to a TV. As USB ports, I'm going to be using the wireless receiver plugged into the mini PC to set up the entire setup. And let's go ahead and jump in here, get it all set up for you, and we'll show you what it looks like once we get it done. Okay, so here is the setup we're going to be using. This is the TV in our bedroom. It's just a 50-inch television, simple plug-and-play, connect HDMI cable to the back of your TV, Connected to the mini PC as well. And as you see, setup is going very fast. You just hit next, just like this. Whenever, you know, just a simple window setup. Connected to the Wi-Fi. Once the Wi-Fi is connected, it's going to start downloading all the updates. As you can see right here, we're at 30% through step one. And now we're back around. It's going to restart the computer again. You know, just a simple window setup and installed. It comes pre-installed on the computer. It's Windows 11 Pro. This mini PC has 12 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM, a 512 gigabyte SSD. It does have a Alder Lake N95 CPU that will go up to 3.4 gigahertz. I've used these processors in the past, and I haven't seen where they actually go up to the max 3.4 gigahertz. I think with my other setup, that was about 2.6 gigahertz. Now Windows has completely restarted. Everything is set up, and we're going to go through the process. We're going to download... Steam on this mini PC. That way we can set up some games on it. So right now I'm just going through here. We're going to be downloading Steam in just a second. But that is the Microsoft Edge browser. We're going to find Steam. And then we're going to pop over here. I'm going to download it real quick. Download, you know, really simple, really fast. Go through the setup process. As you can see right here, let's close our window down. That way we can complete the Steam setup process. And we're going to download some games. Uh, installation, like, as you can see, it goes relatively fast. Uh, as we go through the process of setting up Steam, we're going to set up and install it. And it is super simple for this little mini PC. Actually, I really like it because of the fact it's going to add some uh, gaming options for our bedroom. And that is why I actually bought that little mini uh, cordless keyboard and mouse for this setup. That way we can use it laying in the bed. My wife will do it. But Backyard Baseball, one of my favorite games from back in the day so we're going to be downloading this because it's just a small download that is on steam and uh let's go through here pop over there as you see the game is downloading relatively quickly onto the uh, mini pc and once we get a downloader we're going to load it up we're going to play a few uh, a little bit just to give you an idea of what happens you know once you get it installed and how you know easily it will work but there it is it is almost completely downloaded and we're going to start it up and it doesn't take quite long for it to load as you can see it just in a quick pop up there game took a little bit of time to load i mean this is an ssd it's not an nvme drive on here but the game loaded up and my aid is going to be playing the game for me while i'm uh, talking about it and recording the video but it backyard baseball is just a simple you know uh simple game that i still enjoy playing a lot of fun if you never played it yourself be sure to grab it but the mini PC, like I said, is provided by AIO XPC for this video. If you want to pick it up, I'll leave some links in the description below. Uh, they will be affiliate links for this. And if you want to pick the keyboard and the mouse up as well, uh, I think the keyboard and the mouse are like 20 bucks. Uh, so they were relatively inexpensive. The only downside, like I said, it takes a battery for the keyboard, uh, two batteries for the keyboard, and then a battery for the mouse. But uh, it's my aid playing uh, backyard baseball, uh, striking out. But that's all right. Just to give you an idea of what goes on. And we're going to quit. We're going to go back. We're going to show you everything for the uh, specs for the PC. So let's close Steam down. Close it down all the way. One thing I couldn't figure out. I couldn't figure out why I didn't have any sound while I was doing it. But it gives you two options for sound. 
uh, whenever you set it up, one for the built-in sound and then for the uh, TV, it's the LG TV right here. So we, once we got that working, the sound was working fine. So that was all that issue was. And it's playing around a little bit. And we're going to turn the TV volume down because it was extremely loud, even at that uh, mid uh, setting for the volume. And now here are all the specs for the mini PC. You can see how the processor usage is. We're going to swap over and show you everything in there as well. That way you get an idea of what it looks like. But there's a CPU. What it's currently running at right now, uh, it fluctuates you know, anywhere from 1.4 all the way up to 2.5. There's our RAM. There's our disk as well. Again, this is a 512 gigabyte SSD with 12 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM. And that is pretty much it right there. And we're going to go back to our TV settings. And this is what you should expect with a mini PC. Uh, it is not, it doesn't have a dedicated graphics card. It does have the built in Intel graphics card that is on the CPU, but works great. Got no problem with it. It's going to be a nice addition to our bedroom for gaming and for some media consumption as well. And there it is back on the TV. Hope you enjoyed this video. And maybe you'll pick one of these mini pieces up for your own setup.